Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show you Oppo F11 camera settings in detail. Now, a lot of you asked me to show the expert mode of this Oppo F11, how to use the features. And as you guys know, full expert mode is available on this Oppo F11. And the settings that I am going to show you also implies to the Oppo F11 Pro because similar settings have been shared in both the phones. Uh, so let's look at it. And uh, before we begin this video, as always, if uh, you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and share it with your friends. All right, guys, let's look at the Oppo F11's camera settings in detail. So the first thing you want to do is to go to expert mode, of course. So now there are so many options, customizable options here. The first one is white balance. Now white balance is used in order to get accurate looking colors. This is basically temperature setting. So the lower the number, the cooler it gets. The more the number, the warmer it gets. As you can see, uh, especially in Oppo F11 and Oppo F11 Pro, they have actually given to customize the number. Usually you don't get this customization and there are only preset options. But as you can see, complete customization is given. Sometimes the camera doesn't recognize accurate colors. At that time, you can actually use and pick like this. And even you say that you want to get some cold looking images of any portrait, then you can actually tweak the number and just click the picture to get accurate colored looking images or say if you want some uh, cooler looking images you can get that as well so this is the white balance here's the exposure now they have divided into shutter speed as well as iso the iso starts from 100 and goes all the way up to 3200 which is awesome and the exposure setting as you can see 1 by 8000 second now how to compensate as you can see it got darker as soon as i tapped on the 1 by 8000 of a second now 1 by 8000 of a second is very very fast shutter speed that means if uh, somebody is walking or somebody is running here and you want to freeze that moment you can capture it with this uh, shutter speed but you have to compensate the iso as you can see 100 iso i'm just changing it to around uh, 600 iso now this is perfect exposure then i'll click a picture now even if somebody is actually crossing or if there is any movement here movement of leaves or movement of persons fast moving objects while changing the shutter speed so this is the thing and as you can see it goes all the way up to 16 seconds now again while you are keeping 16 seconds even if i keep the iso 200 as you can see it got completely bright that means this setting is not actually uh, preferred for this kind of environment again you have to put the nd filters for this one so basically if it gets darker here then you can actually slower the shutter speed to get that accurate exposed images so this is how you tweak the settings uh, with the exposure value as well as iso now there is ev here as you can observe this is exposure value now again let's say by default the picture is capturing here with highlights blown up right so if even if there is some clouds the dynamic range is not getting covered properly then i can use ev and underexpose a bit and instantly as you can see the clouds are visible properly so this is how you change the exposure value which is ev the next one is auto focus usually for landscape images uh, you can keep 0 0.95 0 0.96 so that gives you proper sharp looking images and for uh, uh, let's say you are capturing some close-up images uh, such as this leaf as you can see leaves then i can actually uh, bring it to like 0 0.5 0 0.75 then click the picture for sharper results so as you can see even if i uh, click the zero or uh, tap on zero as you can see how close it can get so for close-up looking images just tweak the autofocus setting to based on the scenery and situation again in order to reset everything as you are seeing there is auto here just tap on auto and everything gets reset so these are very important settings based on the scenes based on the situation you can change and get exact looking images you always crave for so this is the basic setting and once you tap this settings here again there are a couple of settings as you can see there is shutter sound there is grid i always recommend you to use the grid mode here so that you get properly composed images and similarly you have location gps tagging there is flip selfie there is watermark so if you want watermark you can enable watermark here again you can actually write the name which is again awesome a lot of uh, phones skip that so you can actually give your own name so let's say i type this just take back so i have enabled watermark and when i click a picture now you will see there is customized watermark here oppo f11 so copyright mark is here we kick 
so this is how you can enable watermark as well so this is the expert mode there are a lot of settings that you can again change in photo portrait modes so i'll be covering those in another video this was just about explaining expert mode on the oppo f11 hope you liked this video now go ahead use the proper modes proper settings just as i explained and take some awesome looking images all right guys see you all in another one don't forget to click on that subscribe button for more follow-up updates or videos about the oppo so see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye